Okay folks, this is the second extra video I'm going to do today and it's going to be out later than all of the rest. All the rest were recorded earlier. I've had a good Sunday dinner now. I'm feeling very sustained. Is that the word? I'm not sure if it is, but I'm feeling pretty good. Um, and I'm just going to reply on the back of what's been a pretty lively comment section earlier on today. I'm also going to take the time here to excuse myself. I've done it in the past. I've no need to because I've done nothing wrong. I'm doing nothing wrong. I've got no hidden agenda. I mean, nothing for gain. But I'm still, still going to say a couple of things to defend myself. Not, as I say, not that I need to, but I'm going to explain why at the end in a moment. Right, we've done the latest video today. And listen, this will all go wrong because I've got things lined up in it again. And I'm no investigative journalist, although some people tell me they are. I'm not one of those, definitely. But um, I had sort of a message earlier on today of somebody. Um, well, forget that. Let me go back to, to what's happening here. I'm after, at this moment in time, Clint Eastwood, Bronco Bill, not Bronco, not Clint Eastwood, The Watchman, I'm after The Watchman, he reminds me of Bronco Bill, I'm after The Watchman, and all I want him to do is open his profit and loss up. Now, to that end, after saying about four or five days ago, he's not going to do that, and he's not going to change the way he does things, he actually said today in a message, as I reported earlier, that he is going to do that from February the 1st. God only knows why it's February the 1st, but that's when he's going to do it from. We will wait with bated breath. I've said at the time, if he does that, there'll be no more messages from me because there's no need to be. Um, he's still seen fit to send a few messages over and because a few were directed at me or to me, I've replied to one earlier, I'm going to reply to one more in a moment and I'm going to tell you some other messages that are going to and fro. Um, but I'm also going to quickly go through a message I've had earlier of somebody. Now, I think the somebody I've had the message of is the same person or pal of the person that I banned from the site last week. Was it? Yes, last week, now back end of the week. The first person I've ever banned from this channel since its inception about nine months ago. And I don't look to ban any others. As I've said in the past, I will never ever ban anybody. I will never take a comment down. It's been a nasty one today. It bothers me not, although I'm going to defend myself. So people would say, well, well you wouldn't say all of that if it didn't bother you. I just want to make my stance clear for those that are following the channel that do believe in it and that think I'm trying to do something decent for decent people out there because that's all I'm trying to do with no gain for myself. I'm after nothing myself, nada, absolutely nothing. But this fellow put a message up earlier and I thought, go on, I'll, I'll, I'm not going to mention his name because I say I think I know who it is. And the only reason I barred somebody last week was because he was abusing people on my website, which I won't have. And I asked on my channel and I asked them, did they want me to buy? And they said, yes, yeah, so I did it. And I'll do it to anybody that, that abuses anybody that comes on my channel. Because the people that come on my channel, whether they support it or not, they're all good, honest, decent people. And they're all allowed an opinion on here. And I will not have anybody abused on my channel. So if those that are being abused want me to ban somebody, let me know and I'll do it straight away. Other than that, they can abuse me all day long. I, I can take it. I'm not afraid of anybody. Somebody said nobody earlier. We'll get to that in a moment. I'm afraid of... I'm not afraid of anybody. I'm really not. If they want to abuse me, let them. Right. We had a guy on here earlier saying, stop doing what you're doing with the Watchmen. You're only doing it to up your subscription and up your views because people are watching those videos and they're watching nothing else. Everything else you're doing is crap. You're putting nothing into your channel at all. You're just doing it for easy views. You're crap at what you do. You're like a washerwoman. You might as well be talking at the bingo or words to that effect. I could tell you the fella's name, but I don't want to. He doesn't deserve it. But I'd be pleased that this message has been read out to everybody. But I'm doing it for a reason, just to say this. When I started this, what's now become a crusade, against another online tipster a few weeks ago, all I wanted was with this online tipster to fall into line to do a profit and loss. It went on for a week, week and a half. He's done it. It's finished now. He's packed up. No problems at all. We're now after Kevin... The Watchman, or Bronco Billy, as he's become known to ourselves, to do the same. He says he's going to do it. If he does, we park that bus and we're gone. When I started this crusade a few weeks ago, it was at a time when I started following one tipster from over there in Ireland. On the back of that, I've got a few new subscribers, a good few, and I appreciate them. They're well appreciated, and I think the world of them. And there's some very, very, very nice people from the message I'm getting back into. Cracker Jack people, I like them. But I haven't done this to get anybody on my channel at all. 
I've actually done two messages to say I feel a bit of a fraud because in one day I think my subscription went up 30 or 40 people I don't think he's ever done that before in a day it did what well, yeah for one video I did years ago but I had I had something like 30,000 views which for me is absolutely unheard of um, I got lucky and a lot jumped on board they'd never done it before never done it since um, but anyway a lot jumped on board and I, and I felt guilty because I didn't want to get extra views and extra subscribers just because I'm calling out what I believe in the tipping game is wrong I'm doing it just for the right reasons because I don't want people to be stung I don't mind people paying tipsters but I mind it when they're going in there with their eyes closed if there's a profit and loss on the tipsters website their eyes are open and then from there on all to themselves no problem as I say the watchman says you're going to do it from February the 1st from then hopefully my message is lend let's see if he does it let's see if he does it properly as I say I can't understand why it's another week away but that's what he says he's going to do I thought that would have been the end of it he sent about three messages today to let me know that his subscriptions growing because of my videos well that's great if you want me to keep doing as I say I will but I've got no agenda but let me just say this about me and my site this is mainly to the guy earlier that said I'm only doing it for views and for subscribers look we can all think we're decent people we can all think we're doing a good job we can all think we're triers I know what I am I know my failings and I know any positives within me and I know when I'm trying to do good and or when I'm not I'm not as good as this Irish tipster from over the pond that I've mentioned on many occasions I've seen his video and seen what he did on Christmas Day I've said it many times but I wouldn't do that I'm not in his league but I'm not doing that to get subscribers off of people who say I'm nice I just know what I am but what I'm not I couldn't open a tipping site and run it and have the comment section closed and no profit and loss I couldn't do that because I would think I'm being disingenuous is that the word it might not be I would think I'm ripping people off I don't mind charging people for my tips if that's going to be my gig don't mind that at all but I want them coming to me knowing where I stand so they can never ever say you're crap you ripped me off you you took my money said you're brilliant and you're not if I'm doing a profit and loss on a daily basis they can make up their own mind and if when they jump on board and I charge them to lose money that's down to them they didn't have to pay me they didn't have to jump on board I've been transparent and if transparency is there that's up to themselves the watchman doesn't do that many don't do that we work on the watchman now and then I'm moving on I'm going to carry on doing this but just to give you an idea of where I'm coming from earlier on today an hour before this message um, a, a message dropped that I did earlier today before the watchman video what was it I forgot the guy's name I shouldn't have forgot it's awful I forgot his name not that it was relevant really it didn't matter a guy called Joshua Suckliffe he's the fella from Oxford that lost his job in 2017 do you know what he lost it for folks because many of you won't have seen this more of you will see it now because it's not a video you'll watch he lost his job he's a teacher or a young fella he's running a class there full of girls they've done really really well in maths and at the end of the class he said well done girls I'm really proud of you one girl amongst that class of girls is a girl identifying as a boy she took it to higher up he's gone to the governors they've sacked him for not what do they call it I, I, I put it all in the thinking what do they call it not identifying properly uh, he's misgendered her or him it was a her who now is a him he's misgendered her now he says after he did it when he rest was upset he apologized and said I'm really really sorry she still took it higher up and he got sacked now I don't think that's right I've mentioned that earlier on today on my website it's probably got 20 views it might never have that doesn't matter to me I say, I say things that I see in the news uh, uh, on loads and loads of sources that interest me or concern me. Lots of them interest me, many concern me, and many I just make fun about. I make fun about loads and loads and loads of things. I turn things, because my mind is weird, into something else for a laugh, because it's good to laugh. That's what I did earlier today. Just let me let me move on from that, because I need that back of that next. Let me just give you a few others I've done over, just, just to let you know this. Some, I've also done one at the same time today, same time today, on the 300 schools in Great Britain that are getting rewards of Stonewall. Is it Stonewall? I think it is. For changing the way they run the classes. And this, is, this isn't just high schools. This is high schools, or high schools, junior schools, and toddlers, nurseries from two years of age. These schools are now not going to call anybody boy and girl anymore. They're going to call them them. No boy and girl at all. It's them or they they're also going to call them and collectively young children or young adults 
no more boy and girl. And because of that, they're all getting awards off Stonewall. Absolute madness. The country's going to hell in a handcart and I don't get it. I don't think that's right. Hardly anyone will watch that, but I'm saying what I think. Now, if the, when I say it, some that do, if you get the, the, the trans activist, the brigade, on seeing me, I'll get battered from pillar to post. But I'll stick with that theme so as long as I'm alive until someone can tell me and show me why it's wrong and why I'm wrong. But that is what I do. That is what I believe in. I've done things before defending J.K. Rowling. After all the young kiddies have turned on her, all the kiddies that she's made millionaires for saying that a woman is a woman and women breastfeed, not adults breastfeed, she's got battered by the transgender police, gender police, whatever it is, and she's been ostracised wrongly. I've done things like that in the past. I've done loads of things. Most of them don't get any watches and I get some grief for them. But I don't care because I say what I think and I say what I believe. But... Just before anybody says, well, then you are a dodgy person. You, you, you don't care about gender, this and that. I don't mind anything or anybody. I don't. But just so as you know, I'm not, what's the word, homophobic? Or, it's not even that. I don't know the word for the LBGT and whatever, if you don't fall in line with it all. I don't know what I am. I know what I am, but I don't know what they call me. I don't care what they call me. I'm a grumpy old git. I do what I want to do. I say what I want to say. I have an opinion. That's what my channel's here for. People don't like it. They can leave the channel like the fellow that messaged me earlier. But just so as you know where I'm coming from, I've done three messages in the last two, three months about Brianna Gay. Brianna Guy, Brianna Guy. She's from my own town. I've done three messages on her. She was a young girl that identified as a boy. I've done three messages all in support of her, all saying it's absolutely disgusting what's happened to that young child, and I mean disgusting, and that the killers deserve everything they get regardless of what their age is, and also they deserve to be exposed name-wise, which they're going to be in February anyway. I think it's absolutely sickening. It doesn't matter what you are or who you are. Nobody has a right to kill anybody else. I've got nothing against anybody. Let me look at some others. Two, three days ago, Graham Boland. He's the fellow that's died in Benidorm recently. You know him. Happy days, our kid. Happy days. Done something on him. Seen by 100 people, maybe less than that. One person said today, lovely video, it's great. You've only got one thumbs up. I feel sorry for you. You deserve a lot more. I don't need it. That's there because I can't ask for it. I don't ask for subscribers for thumbs up for all this, that and the other. I don't, because I feel weird asking for it, even though everyone on this YouTube does it. I ask about once a fortnight, I mention it. I don't ask, I mention it, because I don't like doing it. But I let out six, eight, 10, 12 videos a day. So probably every 120 videos, I mention it once. Once, that's all I mention in 120 videos. I'm not asking a lot, am I? I don't ask many times, do I? I can't bring myself to do it, although I want to grow the channel. I just can't bring myself to it. So that's there. Many don't see it, but it don't matter. Because I feel bad asking. Who else have we got? Nancy Diolio. That's Sven's ex. Mentioned her the other day. Seen by 20 people. I was praising her. I put on the title, she's mad as a box of frogs. She is. She is. But after he dumped her and went behind her back with others 10 or 12 years ago, now that he's dying there, she still wants to see him. And she said he's one of the loves of her life. She's only ever had two. She stayed loyal to him even after being crapped on by him 15 years ago. Mad as a box of frogs. But I, I thought, well, isn't that lovely of her? Did a video about that because I, I thought it was nice. Who else? Something in the last few days. Katie Hopkins. I know she's a divisive person and I know many really, really love her. Did a video on her the other day, three or four days ago, saying I think she went a little bit too far with the Kate Garraway and Derek Draper business. I think she went a bit too far. I don't hate her like many do, but I don't love her neither. It got watched by over 2,000 people because it's one of those people that's in the media like the Ronnie O'Sullivan things. I've done about four things on Ronnie O'Sullivan. I've got one coming out tonight. But Katie Hopkins, I've done nothing else about her since. It got 2,000 views. Anyone that's got any sense will have done two more videos about her in the last three days. I have not because I've got nothing else to say. When I've got something else to say about her, I'll do a video. I won't make a video up just to get views. I don't do that. Linda, I'm not going to mention her last name because it's sort of personal, but there's a video on there about Linda. Did a video on there about a lady a week ago. She's not been to the channel for about six weeks and it's not like her because from when the channel started, she's been with me all, almost since day one and she's brilliant. I think the world of her and I know she's been ill and I'm worried about her. I've got no contact details. It's not the kind of channel that does lives that's got people messaging in and giving details and contact details and stuff. I'm not that kind of channel. I just do messages, close it down and then they get seen four, five, six hours later. I don't have that interaction with people some channels do. Because I don't do lives and I don't walk around with a camera. But I'm concerned about the lady. Anyway, she's messaged me back. She's OK, so that's grand. I wasn't worried she'd let me channel it. It bothered me a bit because I like her. I hate anyone leaving, but the ones I really like, it would kill me. But it's live. They can do what they want. They're all adults. 
But I was concerned she wasn't ill. In fact, I was more concerned thinking she might not be with us anymore. Thank God she is. Think the world of her. Lovely lady. Prince William did a video with him today. 36 people, I think, have seen it. Saying, well done, William. You went down to Leeds and you've seen Burrow and Sinfield. Fantastic. You give them at the old CBEs, whatever they've won, I don't care. Whatever they've gained. Really good on you. Really, really good. I've done about five videos on Sinfield and Burrow. I think Kevin Sinfield should be knighted three times over. I think what he's done over the last few weeks, few months, is unbelievable. Unbelievable. They're getting 20 and 30 views. I don't care. I'm saying what I think and it's out there. People can see it further down the line. And I say it from no point to get anything from it. He doesn't know me, Kevin Sinfield. He's never going to meet me. I love the guy. Annie Nightingale, she died the other day. I've remembered her since being a kid. I liked her. Never listened to her on Radio 1. But I listened to her Whistle Test. Sad to see her go. I mentioned it. Maureen Lippmann. I've done something in defence of her. A lot hate her just because she's Jewish. I don't care where anybody's from. She's never done me any harm. Fantastic actress. Most of what she says, I agree with. She's getting better for saying nothing wrong. I've defended her. Because that's what I do. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But that's my opinion. Sinead O'Connor did something new a week and a half ago. And all I said there was, I'm over the moon. That after the post-mortem or whatever it was, the pathologist, whatever it was, <coughs> she was found to have died of natural causes. I didn't want her to die at all. She was only a young girl. But I worried, like I think many of us did, that maybe she'd done something to herself and I would have hated that. She's not done it with natural causes. That to me is good news, although it's still awful that she's died. Anyway, that's what I do. Right. I don't know why I've gone through all that, but I've gone through all that. Back to the Watchman and the messages today. And then at the end, there's another message on here that I've got for the Watchman. I hope you stay till the end, Kevin. I hope you're here till the end because I've got a personal message for you. A personal message, that's really important. I really do hope you hear it. But before we get to that, messages today. We've had a few messages back and to. Kevin's uh, thanked me. I think his name's Kevin. Thanks for the promotion again. Mandy, one of our followers, who I think the world of, only been with me a week or two, I think the world of, seems a nice girl, has said, I don't, I'm don't. i not trying to be offensive saying girl, Mandy, I don't know what your age is, I don't care, I don't matter what you are, I like you. Anyway, he says, thanks for the free promotion again. Mandy message back, pity you don't open your comment section, you're great at coming on here, meaning my channel, giving your opinion, pity you hide with your comment section closed, what are you afraid of, why won't you open it? To that, Kevin has messaged back, I don't hide from anyone. I'm not. I don't hide from anyone, and I'm afraid of nobody. I think anybody would have been better. I think you've been in uh, newspapers in the past. I think you said Kevin, and I get things wrong. I'm not the great, greatest at England in the world, or English, should I say? But right, and then we had another couple. These are important. I need to tell you these before I give you what I believe is the punchline, although it may not be genuine. Right, he mentioned he was doing the profit and loss from the 1st of Feb. We've done that one earlier. I'll give you my reply. This is the one that I thought was great. This is a message he sent to me today. Remember this. I'm also an investigative journalist and worked for the News of the World. I wouldn't be pushing that down anyone's throat, Kevin. Um, I don't think they went out in a blaze of glory. Reporting on serious fraud in horse racing and found people who needed to be arrested via websites mobiles, landlines and contacts. I'm still very active in that profession and doing a job now for a TV channel. I dig much deeper than you could possibly imagine. Well, that's nothing but a threat. Why you would threaten me? I don't know. <laughs> he said he doesn't mind me going on and on and on. He says he's happy that, what did he say? Uh, every time I go on he gets more subscribers. I'm saying all I want him to do is open a Profit and loss, which he says he's going to do from February the 1st, then I'm gone. He can investigate all me, all, me all he wants. He can do whatever he wants. He can send the boys around if he wants. I'll still carry on doing what I do until he opens a profit and loss. And then when he does, I'm gone. But I will say this on the back of what Mandy said, because I said that's a brilliant comment, Mandy, because I thought it was. If you're afraid of, in your words, nobody, why don't from tomorrow you open your comment section? And let's say, because you're afraid of nobody, don't forget. Leave it open for three months, regardless of what you get on there, whether it's grief or not. If you get grief, just answer them back. Or don't want them to do what I do and just pretend they've not messaged you. Um, if you're as good as you say you are at what you do, it won't stop people from coming on your website and giving you money. If you're as good as you say you are, why don't you open your comment section if you're afraid of nobody? And that way you don't need to even message me on it. You can do it, I'm not stopping you. All your messages are still on there. I've not wiped any away, I never will. 
I could have banned you from here. I've not done that. I never will. It's not what I do. If I say I'm going to do something, I do it. If I say I won't, I won't. And I've said I'll never ban you. You're never banned. Come as much as you want. If you open your comment section, I won't come on your comment section. I haven't had to comment with. But yes, some of the people on here may do. But, you know, if you become clean and green and your comment section is open, you profit and loss, after a short while, everything will die down and no one will have anything to say to you. So that was that. So that's where we were with that. So I've got two more things to say, though. Now, two more things to say. Let me get to this bit. I looked on your website today to something I'd not done before, I'd not seen before. Now, you say the investigative journalist. So I did a bit of investigating myself. Not investigating. I just looked around. As I say, you're going to do the profit and loss. And I'm saying when you do it, I hope it's daily, not weekly, not monthly. I hope the show run totals of all the different bets you do. Because these are the things that Kevin does. I keep saying Kevin. I'm sure he says he's Kevin. He offers a daily lucky 15 bet. That's free. Okay. He does a five-ton club. For the five-ton club, you pay £49 per month. Now, what you get there is you're betting £5 a day, I would imagine. The targeted return is £500 a week. That's what he tries to make you, £500 a week. The starting stake is a fiver, but it must be a fiver per day, surely. And he's got a no-loss insurance. I would suggest that if you better with him all month, fiver a day over God knows 150 quid a month, if you've not won money, he gives you your money back. I doubt that, but that's what he's saying. The next one is, for £29 a month, he offers, what's what's this one called? Bear with me a sec. The Winner's Paddock. Yeah, the Winner's Paddock, that's £29 a month. And for that, you, you get doubles, trebles, accumulators. They're all simple to follow. They're all by email and text. That one is a find out more. You've got to click to find out more. I've not clicked. I'm not bothered. Okay, so that's bet option number two. Bet option number three, weekly winner grand. That one is £49 a month. But on that one, you're betting a starting stake of £10. I'm guessing that's £10 a day. The target return, that is double the 500. It's a grand a week. So for a tenner a day, he's going to get you to a grand a week. But again, you've got an assurance of no losses. Don't know what that means. And then he's got an all-inclusive club for a monthly fee of one ninety nine. That's all-inclusive, is that? So you're getting all the things I've just mentioned, okay? But you're also getting late information. Did you get that on the other's late information? No. On this, you're getting late information as well, okay? And then, here's the biggie. You're getting, what's it called, this one? The all-inclusive club for a year at 1990 that's right, £1,990 a year. You're saving 398 quid on this one. This is a Bobby Dazzler, this one. Right, it's all-inclusive. You're getting your weekly winner grand. You're getting your five-ton club. You're getting your daily double. You're getting late information sent via text and email. And you keep up to date with everything again via text and email. Right, so you're getting all of that. Now, what I've not had yet, which is amazing, is if it's doing as well as I would have thought, I would have thought people had been coming to my site because his picture's on all the time on YouTube because you click on the watchman and mine will often come up. I can't understand why people that are betting with him haven't come up to defend him. But by the same token, I can't see why people that are betting that have lost money ain't coming to knock him because I would have thought many would have lost money. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Um, but it all sounds brilliant. Now, I'm no investigative, I can't say it, investigative journalist like Kevin is, but I've seen all that and I'm thinking, well, all that's there. He's brilliant at what he does. He's done it for 30-odd years now. He's charging either a fiver or a tenner a day, depending on which you go for. That's on the, the normal plans. If it's so good, why is there no profit and loss there for everyone to see? Because I would think if he's doing that well, he'd have hundreds jumping on board. Um, so I think... A profit and loss is needed, as I say, which he says he's going to do. But I think with all those different packages, I think he must be offering, I'm guessing, and I'm guessing here with his lucky 15 and his free bet, there's five horses. I would guess he's offering about 15 to 20 horses a day. I would guess. Maybe wrong, but I would guess 15 to 20 a day. No, probably I'm wrong, five. At least 10 a day. I'm hoping if he's offering 10 horses a day, we get to see what the 10 were the day after and where they finish. That is a proper profit and loss. I don't think he'll be um, that on the ball. But he should be, because he's afraid of nobody. And he's been an investigative journalist. Those people like to do things correctly and hide nothing, because that's what he's done. He's gone into the industry and found those that are fraudulent. If he isn't fraudulent himself, and he says he's not, let's everything, have everything out there. Right, we'll end with this now, because this is important. You can investigate this if you don't mind, Kevin. 
Got one of the messages earlier. No doubt you've seen it, but you might not have done. I meant to do this on the first message earlier. From a Philip Hoddle. Not Glenn's dad, no, and it's spelled differently. It's H-O-D-D-E-L-L. Philip Hoddle. Now, I think this message is genuine, and I'll tell you why. I've clicked on Philip's name, as you can, on top of the messages. It's not just a blank page. It's not a, a figurine, a figure, anything like that. It's the actual guy's face. And I'm guessing the face I've seen is Philip Hoddle. I might be wrong. Philip messaged me earlier today, said, I went on the Watchman service, but I was offered a lifetime service for £200. He said, I've never, ever received a tip after paying £200. And after regularly emailing the fella, I've never had any correspondence back. Now, Philip Hoddle could be lying, Kevin. It could be a lie. He could be lying. I'm not kind of a liar. I don't know. But he may not be. I'm surprised he's sent me that message. He's not message saying you're a con man, you're this, you're that or the other. He's not message saying he's been with you and you're brilliant, you're the best and blah, 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 blah. He's just message to say he's given you money, he's had nothing back. I would imagine if that is the truth, Philip would want his money back. I don't know when he sent you this money, if it's true. It might have been a week, a month, two years ago. He's lost tips for all that other time if that you would or should have given him. I would imagine he won't want to jump on board now because if he's done that with you and you've sent him no tips and you're answering no messages that he's sending to you, he will think you're a con man and he will just want to end everything that's ended. He's probably thinking that now it's all ended. But I would suggest he deserves his money back. So, as an investigative journalist, I think you should look into your records, look for his details and see if he's sent you some money over the, com the last days, weeks, months or even years. If he has, I would suggest you send it back. That's what I would suggest. Now, as I say, this guy might not be genuine and he might be making up. I honestly don't know. But I'm only passing on what I've seen in my comment section. And as I say, I've clicked on his, his pick and it's there for all to see. I mean, you can do the same. You'll, you'll look through the threads because I know you're looking at them all the time, which is why you're responding to Mandy and Christina and everybody else that's messaging you. Because, and they're only messaging on here, Kevin, because they can't message you on your channel because the comment section's closed. If your section was open, they wouldn't have to message you on here. So, you know, I'm not setting the dogs on you. I'm not telling them all to message you and to my idea. They're doing that of their own accord because they've seen the videos. They've seen what I shown last week where you were saying you had six horses and five were winners when actually four were winners and you forgot to. And as I say, an, an investig investigative journalist that's looking at corruption in racing and you just forgot two horses that had run in the previous week that you're giving out as free bets. Were well, you not very good at your job? And if you were, were you good at snaring others that were bent, but more than happy to be bent yourself? I, I don't know, and I'm not calling you bent, but I don't know you can miss out two horses. That's what really started this last week. You've not replied to that yet. I'd love you. I'll tell you what you could do, Kevin. On your channel tomorrow, rather than keep going on and on and on in the comment section, I sent you a message last week to apologise. You no know, win, no feedback. I got that wrong. You know with no feedback and you've proved it. You don't take the money. You give the tips. You've held a piece of paper up. You've held it up. We've all seen it. You give the tips. If they win, they owe you a tenner. If they lose, they owe you nothing. If, however, the odds are less than even money, they owe you nothing. You've proved it. I messaged on here and apologised because I'm not too big to apologise and I was wrong. Let's see if you are big enough tomorrow want to open your comment section Remember, you're afraid of nobody. And if you open it, leave it open for three months. I bet you don't. I'd love you to prove me wrong. Let's see if tomorrow, rather than the 1st of Feb, you open your profit and loss. I bet you don't. I'd love you to prove me wrong. If you open it the 1st of Feb, let's see if you do it properly. If it's done daily, updated daily, and if every single loss that you give out to all your members and non-members is on there. I bet they're not. And then nextly, next, Let's see what you've got to say about that video we did last week. Go and watch it again. Where you're at profit and loss, profit and loss. I'll give you a profit and loss. Five out of six. Let us know why you forgot those other two free bets, which I've named here. They were on my video. You know what they were called. One was written by Rob Havlin, I think. And one was, was it last Sunday at Ted Walsh yours? Both came nowhere. Fifth or sixth and tenth of eleven. Tell us why you forgot those as free bets. Tell us why when in that same week you forgot two free bets. Yet... A week previous, you remembered the 16 to 1 winner. How did that happen? Just let us know, because if you let us know, you see them, we know what we're dealing with. You know, we, we, you know, let us know. Anyway, 
that's it from me. I think I've said enough. Um, yeah, I've said enough. I'm happy with what I've said there.